Inside a crowded wheel workshop, a mounted rim spins faster than expected, turning routine handling into an uncontrolled release of rotational energy. Never, ever approach or strike a mounted rim or wheel while it is rotating. Secure the workpiece fully, stand clear of the rotational plane, and stop the machine before any manual adjustment or inspection. A rim mounted on a rotating machine stores rotational energy proportional to its mass and speed. As rotation increases, even small disturbances at the rim edge experience amplified force due to angular momentum. If the rim is not fully secured or is contacted while spinning, imbalance and centrifugal forces can cause the wheel to disengage or eject from the mounting point. Treat spinning rims like live flywheels. Lock them down, stop rotation before contact, and keep all hands and bodies outside the wheel's ejection path at all times. Inside a cramped repair workshop filled with tools and clutter, a raised compact loader suddenly loses support and drops over the active work area below. Never lift or support heavy machines using improvised beams or unstable points. Use rated lifting equipment, solid supports, and controlled load paths before anyone works nearby. A lifted machine concentrates weight at its support points. When those points are improvised or uneven, even a small adjustment can shift the center of gravity. Once the weight moves past the support line, gravity accelerates the drop. Without secondary supports like stands or blocks, the machine has no resistance to downward movement, allowing stored gravitational energy to release suddenly into the surrounding space. Support every lifted machine with rated equipment, redundant supports, and clear zones. Never trust balance or single-point lifting. Inside a small, cluttered garage, a tire lying on the floor suddenly turns stored air pressure into a rapid blast zone. Never, ever lean over or remain close to a tire under inflation. Use certified safety cages, restraints, and distance to control pressure-related failures. Inflating tires store energy as compressed air inside the casing. As pressure rises, the casing and bead experience increasing outward force. If a structural weakness or defect exists, failure occurs instantly, releasing compressed air in all directions. That sudden expansion converts stored pressure into rapid outward motion of the tire and surrounding materials. Without cages or barriers, the release zone spreads quickly across the work area. Treat every tire inflation as a stored energy operation. Use cages, control pressure, and stay clear of potential release paths. On a busy street lined with shops and traffic, a ladder perched on loose scaffolding suddenly tips and sends the entire setup crashing outward. Never ever stack access systems, use one properly secured climbing method at a time, and fully brace scaffolds before anyone climbs. Placing a ladder on a scaffold raises the combined center of gravity and removes ground contact stability. When lateral force is applied, such as a climber shifting weight, the ladder pushes sideways against the structure. Without outriggers, ties, or locked bases, the scaffold rotates around its lowest support point. Gravity then accelerates the loss of stability as both ladder and scaffold move together. One access system at a time. Brace it, lock it, and stabilize it before climbing begins. Along a residential street, two utility workers reposition a loose conductor and the pole suddenly erupts in a high-intensity electrical flash. Maintain proper clearance around energized equipment. Apply insulating covers and isolate conductors before repositioning any line. Overhead, conductors near energized hardware can arc when clearance distances are reduced. As a loose line swings, it can bridge air gaps to energized components. Electrical energy then jumps through the air as an arc fault, releasing intense heat, light, and pressure. Tight spacing between hardware increases arc likelihood, especially when movement occurs without insulation or isolation. Control clearance first. Insulate, isolate, and stabilize conductors before moving any energized line. On a warehouse loading lot, a towering paper roll perched on a stacked load shifts under a worker's touch, then begins to rotate and creep forward like a runaway drum. Never, ever allow people near or on unchocked cylindrical cargo. Secure all round loads with chocks, restraints, and tie-downs before anyone works around them. A large paper roll converts even a small sideways force into rotation if it isn't chocked. 
When a worker leans on the roll, that push can shift its center of mass and overcome static friction at the contact point. Once rolling begins, friction drops, and the cylinder accelerates easily under gravity and momentum. Without hard stops, the roll continues to build speed and travel until something physically stops it. Round loads roll, chalk them, strap them, and keep people clear before any contact or movement begins. Along a narrow roadside excavation, the gravelly edge looks solid for a moment. Then hairline cracks spread, and the unsupported ground suddenly drops into the open cut. Never, ever allow people or machines to work at the edge of an unsupported excavation. Soil can fail without warning once its support is removed. As material is excavated, the soil at the edge loses lateral support and becomes a cantilevered mass held together only by cohesion and internal friction. Once cracks form or the weight exceeds remaining strength, the edge fails under its own weight, shearing and collapsing into the open void as gravity pulls the unsupported section downward. Treat every open excavation edge as unstable. Shore or bench the walls, set back exclusion zones, and assume unsupported soil will eventually give way. Inside a crowded warehouse aisle with pallets moving on both sides, a suspended bulk bag suddenly shifts under the hoist and loses support straight into the space below. Never, ever allow anyone beneath suspended loads. Use exclusion zones, tag lines, and controlled lifting practices. Suspended loads depend on balanced tension across lifting straps. When straps load unevenly or shift, the center of gravity moves suddenly. Gravity pulls the load downward as tension redistributes. Without exclusion zones, the space beneath the load becomes part of the hazard zone the moment balance is lost. Treat every hanging load like a falling zone. Set a clear exclusion area, guide with tag lines from a safe distance, and keep walk paths out from under the hoist. Inside a cramped tire shop bay, a routine inflation suddenly releases pressure, vapor, and ignition in a rapid high-energy event. Control tire inflation hazards by using restraint cages, distance, and barriers. Never position yourself in the inflation line of fire. As a tire inflates, internal pressure rises rapidly. If the casing fails or releases air unevenly, compressed gas escapes at high velocity. Escaping air can carry vaporized material across the floor, and when ignition conditions align, expanding gases ignite rapidly. Tight spaces amplify the pressure rise and extend the surrounding hazard zone. Inflate from a distance, restrain the tire, control pressure carefully, and stay outside the potential release zone. Inside a narrow production aisle, a steel coil slips free and begins rolling rapidly down the line. Always secure steel coils with chocks and restraints. Never leave heavy rolls unblocked on racks or near walkways. Steel coils store energy through mass and elevation. When unsecured, vibration can overcome friction and initiate rolling. Once movement starts, the cylindrical shape converts gravity into forward momentum. The coil continues rolling until stopped by resistance, transferring significant kinetic energy into surrounding structures and materials. Chalk it or block it. Treat every steel coil as a rolling energy hazard that must be restrained before it moves. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.